trains and World CSX Heavy Hall posted six hours ago it's sometimes enlightening to read through the Steam Top Sellers list. While you'll see your mega-budget AAA hits in the top slots more often than not, it's far from unusual to see something like Trains and World's newly released DLC The Great Western Express sitting in the top 10, proving that PC gaming is broader than you might expect, and that your own definition of mainstream might need expanding too. The PC is host to the best and boldest simulations around. Trains a little too pedestrian for you check out some other options here. Offering a uniquely British set of scenarios, the Great Western Express Pack focuses on running busy passenger trains in and out of Paddington Station and across the Intercity Express Line. For those really wanting to commit to the simulation, there's the new service mode, allowing you to experience life as a train driver working to a precise 24-hour timetable. While not quite as thrilling as a battle royal mode although I do wonder how that would work with trains, it's an interesting immersive hook for the expansion. While there is the usual degree of nitpicking as you'd expect from train enthusiasts with an eye for meticulous detail, Steam reviews for the expansion have been very positive, and many emphasize how much an improvement the DLC content is over the original game. The release of the DLC seems to have given the game a solid boost in player count as well, according to Steam charts. No shortage of would-be drivers wanting to live a day in the life on the rails. The Great Western Express DLC is available on Steam now for an RP of £15 after a generous 40% launch discount, or bundle together with the base trains and World CSX Heavy Haul for £34.38 sign in to comment.